Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're reviewing a new model of the Vario Empire Collection, the Mecha Quartz Chronograph. Empire Collection is inspired by the Art Deco design of the early 1920s, and the name Empire comes from the Empire State Building, probably the most famous example of this design language. So far, Vario offered the Empire as both an automatic and a hand-wind model, which I actually reviewed, and you can check that video out by clicking on the corner of the screen. I loved that watch in every way possible, so it makes me happy this chronograph model simply added a complication while retaining most of the design elements of the original. You still get the beautiful Kidosh centerpiece on the dial, with a raised brushed ring used for the hour numerals. They're applied in silver and the font used is pretty much a perfect representation of the Art Deco. Having a chronograph function meant adding two subdials, and I have to say they nailed that too. Again, they're on their own plane, raised, brushed, and reversed in color to the main numerals being silver with black markers. Like all this layering wasn't enough, the outer edge of the dial has yet another level with the seconds hashes and that one is done in a frosted finish. This makes for one of the most complex dial executions I have seen, even though at first glance it appears simple. Also thanks to the finishes and colors used, it looks premium and metallic rather than plastic like so many grainy dials used today. All the hands are silver and pretty simple. The design is almost identical to the earlier versions of the Empire, but due to the color used, the watch does suffer from legibility issues. I'm not talking about nighttime visibility only, since there is no loom, but also in certain lighting conditions, they're sometimes hard to spot at a glance. Luckily, a small twist of the wrist will make them come alive, as they catch the light pretty well. The hands are also the only part where you can see some finishing issues, but only under macro. The rest of the watch, the dial and the beautiful simple case are really well finished. The case itself is 38mm in diameter with a 46mm lug to lug, making it look pretty much perfect on my 6.7 inch wrist. Even the thickness is okay. Given the small diameter of the case, you would expect it to look chunky, but the rounded bezel helps it look thinner than it is. Being powered by a Seiko VK Mecha Quartz and missing the main seconds subdial, the hands move like on a mechanical watch, while the instant reset of the chronograph hands and the nice clicky feel of the buttons make it feel like one too. The Empire Chronograph is priced at $298, which is more than okay for what you get, especially given the beauty and the complex dial it comes with. At the moment of me recording this, their webpage says they're all sold out, but that's not the case. Instead, they're waiting for a new batch of case bags to arrive, which will make the model available sometime during July of this year. Maybe by the time I publish this, it already has, but in case it hasn't, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Anyways, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.